Welcome back to the DT Daily, the show that dives beneath the specs into the tech that matters in your world. I'm Casey Montoya, and today we'll look at why the gaming population is exploding, just how many jobs the smartphone app economy is creating, the controversy surrounding the Path social networking app, and the release date of the Droid 4. It looks like video games have finally gone mainstream. A recent study claims that the number of people playing video games in the U.S. has risen 241 percent since 2008. Conducted by market research and consulting company Parks Associate, this new study asserts 135 million people now play video games for at least one hour a month. That's compared to 56 million who played games just a few years ago. Casual games on Facebook and smartphones have been linked to much of this rise. The U.S. economy has been struggling in the last five years, but at least one new category is quite healthy. A new study by TechNet, a bipartisan policy and political network of tech CEOs, claims that 466,000, that's almost a half a million jobs, have been created thanks to the growing app economy surrounding the iPhone, the iPad, and Android devices. But five years ago, those jobs did not exist. New York City is ranked as the biggest destination for app economy jobs, with San Francisco and San Jose also fostering healthy app developing communities. Privacy is in the headlines again, and one app is taking heat. While attempting to port Path, a social networking app, a developer has discovered that the service uploads the entire address books of its iPhone and Android users. That includes contact names, phone numbers, and email addresses. PATH CEO Dave Moran claims that the data is only being used to help users connect with family and friends, but many users aren't convinced. PATH was created and marketed as the anti-Facebook, a private place for only you and up to 50 of your closest friends and family, but the app never notified its 2 million users. It was harvesting address books. There's no evidence that user data has been sold or stolen, but Marin says a fix for users to opt in uploading their entire address book is on the way. Finally, Verizon will release the Motorola Droid 4 on Friday. The new Android phone will be the first good option for those who want high-speed 4G LTE connection and that full slide-out keyboard. That's it for today. Thanks for watching the DT Daily. Make sure to check back on Digital Trends later today for our review on Sony's Vio Z Ultra Slim Notebook.